Hello people. Here's my recent Matchbox and Hot Wheels finds from uh, the grocery store and a couple other retail stores that I frequent. So let's check these out. This is super cool. I collected a ton of uh, Punisher titles back in the 80s and 90s. And uh, I don't know if this van was ever used in any of the comics, but um, it certainly <laughs> looks like something the Punisher would, would ride. There's a minigun on top. And another cannon coming out back. And the side door opens here to reveal a computer and a surveillance system, looks like. I'm not sure what the red, that red knob is supposed to be. Uh, but it looks like there's a lever there to open, uh, or it uh, uh, pushes the cannon in and out. I guess it doesn't close. It's always open. But I'm going to leave this one closed because I really like the artwork. Very cool. Now, here's one I've had my eye on. This is a beautiful wrecker tow truck and we're gonna open this one the artwork's really cool but I think the toy is even cooler yeah. they made things really hard to get into didn't they Beautiful. Wersma? I don't know if that's German. It's absolutely a beautiful deco. Just stunning. I don't know how this works. Oh, this comes all the way down. Well, not all the way, apparently. Okay, just to there. But somehow this it extends out. I don't want to break it. Oh, there it is. And this drops down. Wow, this is so cool. Ah, man. I'll tell you, they did a really good job with this. This is just beautiful. Very detailed, very accurate. Ah, man. Look at those smokestacks. Again, I wish they'd put some more detail into the siren. I assume that's what this is right here. Is it's a siren. Maybe make it yellow. Or at least paint it, but I don't know. Now, regardless, that is a, a beautiful casting. Western Star 6900 XD used oh used under license <laughs> rw004 very cool can't wait to see the next one i gotta look this up because i didn't i I, I'm, I don't think this is a new casting um so if there's one before this i haven't seen it i'll have to find it super cool all right here's uh Rocket League, the next, the third style uh, that we've seen. We saw it in orange and blue, and now we see these, this new deco, these new lines with uh, black, a little bit of black, white, and red. It's just beautiful. We're leaving this close, too. This is going to go to one of my godsons who loves playing this video game. All right. 36 Ford Sedan Custom, opening doors. 
Man, this is a good looking car. I really like what Hot Wheels, I'm sorry, Matchbox has done with these, uh, these new opening door or moving parts, rather, the moving parts series. That's just beautiful. I like the color they chose for that too. That's just so cool. The new Porsche 917 LH. Yeah, I've been looking for it. Beautiful deco. Number three on the side and on the hood. It's just a really stunning blue color. Nice. I'll have to do a video about my Porsche collection. It's getting, uh, it's starting to grow outside of the one container that it's in now. So maybe it's time to do a video on it. Now this next one is the 2006 Ford Crown Victoria police car uh, with deco from Rachancho. River Valley, I, don't, I can't read what that says, but um, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I like realistic decos, and this is very realistic, as is this one. Very cool. Actually, we're going to open both of these. Very cool. I've got the five-piece NYPD set that just came out last year. And one thing I noticed is that all those vehicles are marked with a number. And this one has no number. But just a really cool casting with really good deco. Rachacho? I don't know. Regardless, it's beautiful. It's a canine car, too. See, this one has a number, 490, uh, 459. Very cool. And this other police car... is super cool as well and it looks like it's a uh, airport police sporting the Skybusters logo that's really cool oh it's an Air Force base huh very neat police interceptor Nice. I love it. And it has a number as well, 821. Very unique. All right. So this last one I've, I've saved for almost last, anyway, is uh, Evie Vuskrist. Her car that she raced in the Argentinian Grand Prix in 1962, November 4th of 1962 making her the first female Grand Prix winner. And of course, I'm gonna leave this in the package because I love that artwork. It's a beautiful casting, and if I come across another one, then I'll open it, but I, uh, I, I doubt I'll see another one for a dollar. Really neat. 
All right, so actually, last, lastly, I picked up, now I typically don't buy 1 in 32 scale cars or pullbacks, but this Porsche 356 was just adorable. I'm not really in love with the paint job. As my, it's not as yellow in real life. I don't like the way that the paint looks in this video, but um, to me it has more of a greenish, a really, really light green color to it. But either way, it's it's a, just a beautiful little casting. I love Porsche cars. I look, I like the old Porsche models, like the 356. And uh, so I couldn't pass this up. November 4, 1962. The Argentinian Grand Prix begins. One of the world's toughest races. Attracting the worst, toughest men. The race with the history of this and crashes. Out of all the cars, only 43 drivers made it to the end. And one of those drivers made it his story. The first driver to beat the record speed at 126 kilometers per hour. The first driver to finish three hours before everyone. And the first driver to prove. Women could win the Grand Prix. Me, Evi Ruskvist. They say I could never finish. So I finished first. <laughs> 